Spotify, find it yourself, also awesome known as Crazy Air from ListricCarConversionBlog.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I test my Kelly Controls KDZ48400 motor controller. The KDZ48400 motor controller can be used for a series wound brushed DC motors and also permanent magnet brushed DC motors. Here's a wiring diagram supplied by Kelly Controls. And here I've highlighted on the wiring diagram the the what, what the, the bits I'm going to be using uh, because some bits like for example these LEDs and the thermistor are not compulsory, they're optional. And also in my test I'm going to be using globes instead of an electric motor. components which I'll be using for today's test battery pack, so 24 volts cables, fuses main contactor with diode and pre-charge resistor the motor controller itself which in this case is the Kelly Controls KDZ48400 globes instead of the motor, instead of the motor. I've got a control box which has reverse power, throttle and brake and this control box is specific to the KDZ series of controller. Today I won't be using the reverse switch in my test, or in this test I won't be using the reverse switch. Before you even touch a motor controller, you need to read and understand the instructions, the manual or any documentation supplied by the manufacturer specific to the motor controller you are using. Because every motor controller, well basically motor controllers are sensitive devices and if you wire it wrongly, you handle it wrongly or you use it wrongly, you, you can damage your controller. It can blow up, it can do all sorts of things. Best to understand how to use it properly before even using it. For example with the KDZ400, I have to ensure that I've connected the B- minus to the negative of the battery uh, first. The other thing as well too is before using the controller, I had, well using this particular controller, I had to ensure that it was pre-charged before usage. Okay now, another thing, because I am working with EV components, I've got my safety glasses on and also I'll be ensuring that I do not touch any live wires or exposed wires or exposed terminals. So let's start with the demonstration. So I'm going to turn turn it on. You probably heard the contactor. Light, the light's green there. Going to turn the throttle on and you're going to see that the globes brighten up. I'm going to turn it back and you'll dim wind it up, it gets brighter, wind it back, dimmer, wind it up, getting brighter, apply a brake, wind the throttle back, turn the brake off, wind the throttle up, so the lights lighten up, brighten up, sorry, wind it back, turn it off and you probably heard the contactor release itself and that completes my demonstration of how I test my KDZ48400 controller. Thanks for watching.